Hello everyone, this is Faith from faithspizacademy.com and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the table element in Canva to create printable checklists really easily. So it's going to be quick, it's going to be fun, it's going to be easy. So let's dive in. We are now on the homepage for Canva, canva.com and I'm going to start by creating a new design. So the button is on the top right hand corner, create a design and I'm going to search for US letter size, US letter document and then we're going to start a new project. Now, I have actually looked for some uh, really adorable graphics from this place called prettygraphic.com. Okay, so here it is, prettygraphic.com. This is a platform where you can purchase commercial use graphics. You can also find free commercial use graphics right here. Okay, they've got some really adorable graphics, elements, digital papers, bright and colorful. So head on, hop on over here, go to the freebie section, and then you can actually look for stuff that are completely free and yet come with commercial use licenses. Okay, which means you can totally use these to create printables that you sell to other people okay for commercial use now um there are also bundles that you can grab at a huge discount or you can actually go for their lifetime access which personally that is what i am subscribed to um so i paid for the lifetime access a one-time fee and i get once again lifetime access to all of their graphics and elements and they've got new ones added every month so that's really worth it um so that's it and what i downloaded what i looked for are camping graphics for this particular video because um it's almost summertime and i want to create a packing checklist for camping and we have got this really lovely camping kits clip art and camping papers which i've downloaded and then i've proceeded Back to Canva, proceeded to the upload section and uploaded the elements right here. So you've got digital papers and some graphics here. Now the focus of this particular Canva tutorial is to show you how to create a simple checklist with the one of the newer features on Canva. Under elements, you will find the table section. Scroll here and then you will see these tables. Click see all. Now we've got just simple grids and we've also got like boxes for the tables. So I'm going to choose one of the boxes right here. And here, of course, they're black. We don't want them to be black. Well, we're just going to leave it as it is for now. So I'm going to click on one of these ellipse menu. Click. And I'm going to delete the column because I want a checklist. So on the left hand side, the column, these are going to be the boxes. I'm just clicking to drag to adjust the width. Whereas on the right hand side, the column on the right will be the spaces where I actually type in stuff for my checklist, right? So let's change all of them to white first. And now because we can't see anything, we're going to change the background color just to any random color just so that I can see my table, okay? So now I'm going to click on the last row. Uh, you can use these ellipse menu to add the rows before or after to actually add more rows to your table. Or you can click on the last row and just click on tab until you add the rows. Okay, so that is how it works. And now I want these boxes on the left to actually have outlines. So what I'm going to do is click on one. Let me just zoom in. You will see now this smaller column this rectangle has a blue outline on it holding down the shift key i'm going to click on all the smaller rectangles because these are going to be my check boxes remember i'm going to create a checklist so now all these have been highlighted going to this little grid here that's the border for the table i'm going to click on it and i'm going to just choose a simple black okay so now there we go now here on top of that i'm still holding down the shift key to select the multiple rectangles and then back to this border other than changing the color i can also change the thickness so you can use the slider to change the border weight or you can just key in the number for example number five and there we go so now i'm going to delete this or rather change the backdrop back to white. And now you see these check boxes, right? So these are the check boxes and I've got this invisible boxes. Okay, so why do I want to leave them as invisible? So this is why. So now previously, without this table feature, how did I create checklists? What I did was I used a simple shape rectangle to actually just 
at the rectangle and readjust it until and then duplicated it to make this whole entire column of um, small checkboxes, right? But now with the table feature is so much easier. And what I want to do is I'm just going to type some random words. Okay, so here now you can't see, but I just highlight it and I'm going to set it to size 14. I'm going to change the color to black right here. So then I'm going to same thing, hold down the shift key and holding down the shift key and clicking on multiple elements allow you to select multiple elements at the same time. So now I'm going to change all of those to size 14 and changing it all of the text to black. And I like pop in slide, so I'm just going to leave it as that. Okay. So next thing, perhaps um, bring a tent, right? And here, bring marshmallows. And here, sleeping bag. So these are my um, the things I want to bring on a camping trip, right? So binoculars, for example, and then the rest, I'm just going to type some gibberish, clicking on tab to go on the next line. And there we go. So now you see, because this is a table feature, all my text boxes are well aligned. I no longer have to worry about aligning the box to the text box because everything is in this table. Okay, so this is really easy. And if I don't want the words to be centralized, I can select them and just move them to the side. So there you go. I can also adjust the width of it because I realized that, you know, the words aren't that long. And if I want to change this into a two column checklist, what do I do? Click and drag and just press Ctrl D or Command D or go to this little ellipse menu. And oh, now it pops up right here. Click on duplicate. And there we go. Move this entire table right here. So if you want to actually add on new rows, can you once again click on the bottom row and click on tab. Okay. Otherwise, you can also go to the ellipse menu where you can add the column, delete the column, size rows equally and all that. That allows you to change um, how the table looks like. Okay. But right now I'm really happy because I did this two column checklist really quickly and easily without worrying about the alignment between the boxes and the text boxes. So this is so awesome using the table feature. Now I want to go to text and just pick one simple font combination right here, going to ungroup them, deleting one and just putting it as camping list and readjusting the text box size and shrinking it down and moving it right here. Now I can also just, you know, shift it anywhere and then go to the ellipse menu other position to right here and clicking the position, positioning it center, and then it will help me automatically place the text box in the center. Okay. So that is how if you place it in the middle, then you'll be the middle of the page. Okay. So now back to the top right here. And this is it now, but I want the words to be black. So go to this text color and change it to black. And I can also add some effects, go to the effects. I can have some shadow effect. I can have some lift effect or splice effect. So it really is up to you to decide how you want um, the words to look like the font effect. Okay. So now here, let's just move it a little bit more to the right. Now I want to make my camping checklist a little bit more fanciful. Um, let me just make a duplicate of this. And this is where I'm going to add those cute graphics that I found from prettygraphic.com. So going back to my upload section here, one simple way is to simply add a digital paper. Okay. But you would see that this doesn't really fit the entire backdrop of it. So I can either stretch it or I can go to the elements section and click on grids and then just click and drag this digital paper to the backdrop. There we go. So now it automatically fills up the back of the page. I can double click on it to shift things around. You know, of course, now because this is a seamless pattern, it doesn't really matter. And I can also adjust uh, the transparency perhaps reduce the transparency of it, something like that. So now you would see that I can actually see my checklist, right? Like this, right? So if I want to change the color of the blocks, I can do that too. I can just click on this, go to this grid. This is where I change the color of the box. Okay. What do we have? 
Okay, let me just come back in here. There we go. So now I'm changing this block color, but I would prefer it to be either white or I can make it transparent so now it takes the color of the backdrop. Okay, so there we go. So this is what you can do. You can really make changes to the grid or you can actually make changes to the block as well. So this is how you can create a double column checklist really quickly, really easily. And it's so much easier to do the alignment now. Now, just to give you a bit more ideas, let's duplicate this page. Now I'm going to use the other cute graphics that I have, maybe add a tree right here, just to have make a simple checklist look much more adorable. Just putting it backwards. And then have this little girl right here and maybe have the tent. Do we have a tent right here? And positioning all the way to the back as well. And there we go. So just, you know, just adding some interesting graphics to make your design more different from than just a simple checklist. Okay. So that's just some ideas for you. And perhaps we're going to use this backdrop too. But I'm going to make it really faint. Like there's just a subtle one at the back right here. And I can resize this as well. And I might want to have, okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so I've got some graphics. I've got the tent. I've got a tree at the backdrop. It's really up to you to decide how you want to make your camping checklist or any other printable checklist designs. Okay, now if I want to, there are also different ways to create checklists, right? You can actually list down the items to help your audience know what to pack for whatever event this is. Or I can just create a generic camping checklist, which means I've you know, no words at all. Okay, so I'm just going to give them a generic checklist, but with some cute, adorable uh, graphics so that they can actually fill up um, the checklist on their own, right? Instead of just a boring, plain piece of paper. So this could be a generic checklist as well. So I'm just clicking on these and deleting the content. And there we go. So once again, it gives you flexibility. Okay, of changing how you want the table to look like, right? You can go to this, you can change the outline of the grid. You can look at that now, this pink outline. You can change the block color entirely or just remove it so it is transparent. So once again, it's up to you. This is how convenient the table feature is when it comes to creating checklists. Okay, so that's it. It's a simple video tutorial, but I do hope that he has given you some ideas on where to find adorable commercial use graphics and how to add designs to just a simple checklist, a two column checklist using the table feature on Canva. Now, thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you will like this video and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or any comments about this video or any other questions about using Canva, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will answer to them personally. And if you have any questions, I will use them as ideas to create new tutorials for you to help you address those questions. Okay, thank you so much for your time and I will see you around. Bye.